Hello Aries and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading. It will be for July 2023 for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, this reading won't be for everyone. Tell you what resonates for you. So let's see what we have for Aries. We have control. Try to be a little more flexible and allow the universe to work its magic. Don't lose out on opportunities because it didn't come in the form you wanted it to. Sometimes blessings come in disguise. Stay open-minded and see the potential. So, we have the message of control. And we have trust. The universe is asking you to trust your needs will be met. There is a spiritual reason why you're experiencing this cycle. This is a good time to connect with your spirit guides. Sometimes we have to surrender and trust. All right, Aries, let's pull you a fortune cookie, see what we get. What do we have for the month of July, please, for Aries? <clears throat> we have manifestations. A bountiful time awaits you. Your wishes could manifest right before your eyes. Well, that's lovely. I'm going to pull you an oracle card. Let's see what we have for Aries, please. Angel Spirits Guides for July 2023. We have fertility. Now, this is a lovely energy because the fertility energy can be the birth of something new. Whether you're creating something new, this is definitely a lovely energy, certainly in terms of money areas, money career finances, because it can represent that creation of new abundance. Yeah. You know, Aries, you're being told with these cards, if you're manifesting something or have the opportunity to manifest something here, that has the potential of bringing in good bounty or great bounty or even starting something, uh, that you feel you have that sense of affinity with. This is a great energy here of everything. There's going to come a point in July where the soil is right, the conditions are right, the temperature is right, the weather's right. And this is all metaphorically, but you understand what I'm saying, to kind of plant those seeds, to make something happen here. Um, it's really what you're being told. Let's see what we have. Actually, I'm going to pull you an energy card as well. See what message we have for the month for you. What do we have for Aries? Thank you. For the month of July. We have number 19, Delight. The frequency of delight supports our capacity to create and experience feelings of intense joy and happiness. The more delight we feel, the more delight we evoke in others. So I feel that's the energy around you, the potential around you, what you can tap into, and maybe the approach. Uh, that's why it just feels like something is really ripe with potential here. Let's see what we have. What do we have for Aries, please? For the month of July, Money Career Finances, thank you, Spirit, Angels, Guides. What do we have for Aries? <laughs> we have the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Cups as your overarching energy, which is nice energy, certainly in terms of money career. The King of Cups can be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, male or female. You might have that water, water energy in your chart. It feels like this is likely to do with a person. We have the Fool. King of Pentacles. The star. 
the Nine of Swords, Seven of Cups, <laughs> Six of Wands, and there is the card of delight. I was hoping that that would come out, but the Six of Cups is a card of happiness and delight. So Aries, let's start with this energy because they're lovely energies. Um, <clears throat> so the King of Cups. King of Cups energy can be, in our own energy, it can be when we find that sense of emotional balance. Um, so again, if a journey has been emotional, if this is your energy, because we can all manifest as the core cards, this is that sense of finding that emotional balance. Uh, trusting your intuition through the month of July and acting on instinct. Uh, the King of Cups is extremely instinctive. Uh, so it might well be this is the scenario, this is the energy that you need to adopt. But again, we have the Knight of Pentacles, some kind of offer or opportunity is being presented to you. Now, the King of Cups is, in as a person, is somebody who is generally very kind, uh, very caring, very compassionate, uh, very composed energy as well. But there, this would be certainly a boss where the door is always open. Um, you can, you, ju you would just feel relaxed as, as soon as you meet this person. They care about people. They do put the team and the enjoyment of the team and the team working together as a very positive um, focus. So this is what I'm seeing here. You might be meeting with uh, a King of Cups. King of Cups is a love is a very lovely person. I mean, very lovely to work with in business in particular. Pretty smart though. Don't underestimate this person is pretty smart. They're also very good in terms of training, you know, training people, uh, skills development, training you again, putting people front and center and wanting people to learn and grow and evolve and being very conscious of that. Now, the Knight of Pentacles, again, if this is a person, this person is making you an offer. The Knight of Pentacles is someone who will bring in opportunity. Uh, so an offer, job offer, business opportunity, contract, can link with a sum of money as well. But it feels in this energy here, this person is offering it to you. That's what I'm seeing here. And here's the thing. I, I feel that you're in a situation that you want to liberate from. Because again, the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Swords represents, on the one hand, Aries, it, it can represent when we, oh, when we really think about something to uh, an extreme level. And, you know, when we really want something, and again, there's this sense of things will be beyond your control for a period of time, and you are the emperor in tarot. The emperor likes to be in control. <laughs> so this definitely feels that it's going to be a month where you're going to have to surrender. You're going to have to use that sense of uh, attraction, you know, attract success and let it come to you rather than uh, being able to drive it home, you know? And this is this is the the energy that it might we sometimes when we really want something when we really overthink about something we can drive ourselves crazy. This can be the energy here, Aries. So it might well be you're really wanting this to happen, but things are only going to go so far. So we can over obsess sometimes. So bear that in mind with the Nine of Swords because again we have the blanket of protection here. Uh, with this person in the dead of night, the insomniac, not being able to sleep, sleep for worry, for thinking about a particular thing, overdwelling, overthinking. This can be the scenario here. Now, it can also link in with stress, worry, anxiety, and even not really being happy where you are. So however this manifests for you, because I feel that you want to liberate from something either way. You really want the new to come in and you really want to carve out this brand new path. 
but there is a feeling here that you're going to have to surrender and trust. I feel that you're absolutely manifesting and you're being told there is something to do with timing here. There is going to be a point in July where the conditions are going to be perfect for you. It's like the, the planets align, you know, it's that kind of energy here. But it's all about attracting and that's really the energy that I'm getting for you with this reading. And that's that's really, I mean, the fertility energy can be empress energy and that's really what the empress energy does. She attracts, you know, she, she really attracts and um, it's law of attraction energy. So I definitely feel this is not something that you can kind of push, push, push. I feel this is an energy of attracting, letting things unfold and being okay with it, you know, and trusting and surrendering because there's a strong energy of whatever you're manifesting is going to end well in this reading. Uh, there is some offer and opportunity coming your way. So just let things take their natural course. Even though, you know, uh, again, fire energy, fire energy just wants to push and create and, and make things happen. This is the energy here of things are going to unfold, but in, in that sense of, of divine timing in some way. Now, the King of Pentacles could be your energy. Again, it could be this person. I feel it's either this person because this person is translating in money terms. And it's interesting, the, the crossover of these cards. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Pentacle here. We have the Cups energy and we have the Cups energy here. So certainly as in terms of elements, there's a crossover here. Either it's your energy or this is a person um, that's influential in, in money, career, finances. As an energy for you, you're manifesting, you're wanting to manifest success. This is your goal. But again, the Seven of Cups is, is again telling me that things are going to be beyond your control. You can pursue hopes, dreams, wishes, new opportunities, new paths, new avenues. And I feel one of those cups is going to be manifested here. We have the cup being offered here with uh, an offer. But in, there's a sense of let things take their natural course. You won't have a choice. Now, the King of Pentacles can also be somebody in business. Uh, somebody who, and again, with a King of Cups, King of Pentacles energy, and I feel this is likely the same person. This definitely feels Aries, somebody who is, I mean, this will be somebody with a combination of the King of Cups and King of Pentacles. Somebody who cares about people, puts people first, understands how to be successful and manifest money. Uh, they might be a little bit set in their ways in terms of how they want things done. That's fine. But this is the energy here. If they're not afraid to, this is somebody who's very down to earth, very grounded and very caring, always would have their door open as a combination between these two cards. But make no mistake, as, as, as nice as they are and approachable as they are, they're very, very capable at being very successful. I feel this is the energy here. Uh, certainly the King of Pentacles can hold opportunity, which ultimately is going to be offered to you. So this is definitely an energy here, Aries. I feel things are going to be hanging out there in the ether for a little bit. You, you're hoping for the best, um, but there's going to be like this person in the shadow, there's going to be this energy where you're going to be in the dark, you know, things are going to take their natural course. And then there is this feeling here of all of a sudden everything aligns and falls into place. The star, this is the energy here of, of with the six of wands having faith that you're going to be successful. The Six of Wands is, uh, can be about, you know, claiming a victory, a success. It could be about if you're competing for new opportunities, pursuing new avenues. There is definitely an energy here of that you're going to be successful. You're getting noticed, recognised, and you're going to be the one who's victorious. You're going to be the one who wins here. This is a significant achievement, a win. It can also be linked with promotions, though this is likely elsewhere than where you are currently. Um, but nevertheless, the, the star energy is, you've got every reason to be hopeful and optimistic, but sometimes we just have to walk in faith for a period of time. But there is, it's telling you there is no doubt that there is a blessing, a wish fulfillment coming your way. And that's what I'm seeing here. 
We had the Six of Cups. I love the Six of Cups energy, especially with the Six of Wands, because it's almost like this is coming your way. The Six of Cups, Six of Wands, it's just when we jump for joy, you know, when we find that happy place, when we just kind of like react and, and uh, you know, want to jump for joy, uh, come back to our happy place, you know, especially you can see these, these children in the picture. It can be about reconnecting to our joy and expressing it, just like when we were children, you know, and it's that kind of pure happiness, joy, energy. So that's what I'm seeing here. You're being told, have faith, this is going to be presented, this is coming your way. Keep on manifesting what you do. Now, the additional meaning with the Six of Cups, it can be about returning to a place that you might have worked before or somebody from the past that you might have been connected to in work, for example, may well be influential in bringing you a blessing. So again, these energies can be very positive. But either way, there's just this real sense of harmony and achievement and satisfaction and empowerment coming your way because you win ultimately this is an energy of winning of being successful over challenge obstacles difficulties but also about competition too but i feel it's going to help you leave liberate from a situation and, and carve out a brand new path for yourself and you know i feel that you're doing the right thing here aries as well because I feel that you're not wanting to liberate from something until you've got something else lined up. It just feels like things are only going to move at a certain level. And the whole point is to attract, you know, everything will fall into place. But this is just stay in the energy of attracting. Because there is an offer coming your way. This is someone making you an offer. Lovely, lovely energy. All right. Let's pull you a final card. What do we have for Aries, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Aries for the month of July. Money career. Yeah, you see, I feel Spirit is telling you exactly the same thing. Crane, surrender, let go of limiting beliefs, be as expansive in your thoughts as your soul is. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful July, Aries, and I will see you next time.